Hey guys, it's Lisa from Lisa's Busy Nerding. I'm here to show you another video for Cricut Design Space 2.0. This one focuses on text and text editing. I'm just going to do a quick highlight here of what the new um, add text feature is like in Design Space 2.0. So I'm into the Design Space canvas here. I've got it all loaded up. There's nothing going on. It's an untitled project. We're starting from scratch. I'm going to add text and it quickly loads a little guy here. We'll just type in a little something. And you can see this is where I edit the text right here. I can make it bigger or smaller or rotate it if I wanted to see what it looks like on a project. I can do that here. What they've changed in Design Space 2.0 that I really like and makes it easy to edit text are the layered tabs over here. So if I want to change the font, I can do that here and I can browse through the different font libraries to see what I have. If I'm subscribed to the font, it will, or it's a um, computer font, it will not have a price over here. These fonts I do not have, and if I wanted to download them, it would be $4.99 for these different fonts. So you can see there are all sorts of different ones over here. So if I select Baby Steps, let's make it bigger so you can see it here. I can also adjust a lot of the things over here on the side, like how wide it is, how high it is. I can certainly do that here, but if I want it to be a specific measurement for a card design or a sign or a banner, I could do that here instead of trying to futz with the actual um, minuscule movements over here. So I can change the position on the mat right here and how far apart the letters are to each other. I can update those change those line spacing that would be if I have multiple lines of text I could do that what also makes this really nice and something they've added is a much easier way to find things are writing style as you know the Cricut Explorer and the Cricut Explorer Air use pens as a writing attachment so you can actually write on your materials with your Cricut Explorer and Cricut Explorer Air so if I select has a writing style I know baby steps has a writing style but these are all of the other fonts that have a writing style. You'll see there's a lot fewer than there were before because it has taken out all of the fonts that do not have a writing style. Uh, let me update the color here so you can see this a little better. Okay. Yeah, so you can see here how easy it is just to update that font and to do all these little adjustments here and um, go through all of those elements of the editing of font in Cricut Design Space 2.0. Cricut has been really intentional about streamlining this process for people who have never used the Cricut Explore um, Design Space before. So if you have never used Cricut Design Space 2.0, you will definitely be able to figure this out. If you have been using Cricut Design Space before, these things are in a natural place, a natural way, and you'll just think, oh, that makes sense. So Cricut has been very intentional with how they have made their updates and improved their features in a way that feels natural and intuitive and completely user friendly. Thanks for watching my video on Cricut Design Space 2.0. If you'd like to see more videos, you can check out my channel or you can check out my blog. I will be posting more of them periodically throughout the months to come, so you can watch for those too. Thanks for watching and happy crafting!